Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And if you haven't got it yet, your uh, winter solstice alignment activation session is open. You can get your seat on the link in the description box below. I would like to bless all of my decks with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help us on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So doing things slightly different from now on I will be doing your message first um, just because I feel like it flows that way uh, it flows more so this week uh, when I went into my intuition the word that I got for you the message that I got for Aquarius as many of you know I am a sun sign Aquarius was tornado and uh, I was looking and I was like does this mean that something in our lives is going to be destroyed this week and uh, the message was very very clear no you are to become the tornado there is something uh, there's not even something there is uh, you need to go through your life this week and you need to be ready and I'm going to say this and a lot of people are probably going to get really triggered but um, sorry to say I don't care I'm going to tell you what I feel you need to know. This week, you need to be ready to destroy something in your own life. Um, I'll give you an example. When we fight infection, we destroy the virus. We destroy the bacteria. We destroy the contagion. This week, you become the tornado, Aquarius. You need to be ready, willing, and able to destroy something in your path right? Uh, again, I give a lot of examples from books that I've read because I love books. I'm a bit of a geek that way. Um, within you is uh, the, the your power to heal is directly equal to your power to destroy. And, uh, and what I want to add to that from my personal experience is that sometimes in order for you to heal, in order for your life to become what you want it to become, you have to destroy something. A tornado is, you becoming a tornado is about you clearing something out of your life. This week you are going to have to destroy something in your life in order to remove it right uh, f that could be anything from a relationship uh, right through to uh, a physical item you know this is about cutting it out it's about removing something for good tornadoes are not pretty they don't do things um you know daintily and gently they go in they rip shit up and they throw it out and it really is that's the message that came through this week i'm sorry to say it's very very harsh i know a lot of people are going to be like i can't believe he's talking about this and but you know what? That's the message that came through and that's the message that you're getting this week. You guys know me by now. Um, I don't sugarcoat it. I just kind of give you it as it is. So the destiny card for the week ahead is the tree of life. <laughs> I mean, there you go, right? Tower is backing me up on this one. Um, I love it. I couldn't have actually asked for any more. Thank you. Uh, and I'm saying thank you to the cards there because that's perfect as far as I'm concerned. The tree of life represents the process of divinity becoming tangible, right? It represents the process of all the things in the ether, your ideas, your concepts, um, things that you want to create, descending into the material world and becoming something real. When you get the tree of life, this is basically saying that the world of spirituality, that divinity, God, uh, spirit, um, Chi, Allah, Buddha, Jesus, God the Almighty, whatever you want to call it, is working in your life now and is working to bring something into your life through the power of creation and you can tap into this power. What did I say to you earlier? Your power to heal is directly, uh, you know, directly linked to your power to destroy. It's exactly the same. Your power to create is exactly equal to your power to, to, to destroy. And for you to become the tornado to destroy something in your life, divinity, spirit, God, whatever you want to call it, is asking you to clear the way. What is it that you need to rid yourself? What is it that you need to get rid of so that I can bring this new thing into your life? You ask for abundance, what are you prepared to give instead of it? Uh, and when I say instead of, I mean instead of, right? When you break it down into its component words. Um, very, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Let's have a look and see what the uh, direction card is. I'm intrigued. I really am. I'm just like, what? 
Uh, then we've got the Three of Cups, right? Enjoyment, happiness, reunions, abundance, uh, enjoyment of tangible things, right? If you want all of this, I, it's funny because I talked about abundance and here it is. You see there on the card in this deck, you've got the maiden, the mother and the crone, right? The maiden represents the, the young, uh, wide-eyed version of ourselves that comes into the world and is not yet jaded, doesn't really know much, but has the excitement and passion and exuberance of youth. The mother, she's wizened, she knows, she's impregnated, she's ready to bring new life into the world and so therefore she has evolved, she's grown beyond that and then to take it further into the crone, she is wise. She is the what they call the dark mother because she's ready to destroy. She's ready to let something go or to phase something out. Your direction card is basically saying this week you've got to live life and you need to be prepared and ready to edit your life ruthlessly right? Whatever it is that you know deep down needs to go, whatever it is that you know deep down needs to stop, needs to end, needs to be phased out, this is the week that you do it. Because it's like the universe is saying to you, whatever you want, you can have. I'm actually trying to bring you it right now. What are you prepared to release in order to have that? Your insight card, what is making its way into your life this week? What's going on behind the scenes? And what's going on behind the scenes? We've got three cards. We've got the seven of pentacles, the page of pentacles, and the nine of pentacles. Providing you are willing to put in the work and the effort, providing you are willing to work harder than you ever have before, everything that you have asked for can be delivered right to you at your very door. Right. Oh, look at that. It rhymed. <laughs> I must be spelling <laughs> and uh, I'm, uh, not even aware of it. The energy is very, very heightened with these cards. Um, I can tell you there's there's definitely something happening here. Aquarius, this is going to be a fantastic week for you. If you want to tap into this energy, it is there for you. It is going to require your work. It's going to require you to really dig deep. And like I said, there is something in your life. It might, you know, might really take you going into the root of something to rip it up. And it may not necessarily be easy, but what it brings you is ultimate enjoyment and satisfaction. What it brings you or what it allows is for you to clear the path for God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, to bring in everything that you asked for. Make your preparations because here it comes. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up and I shall do the same because as many of you know, I am a sun sign Aquarius and right now, like literally, I can't even tell you, my hands are buzzing. Take care and I'll see you soon.